Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. I am Derka13. Uh, this is episode 7. In episode 6, we uh, put a satellite in orbit of the moon. It was great. We did a low resolution radar scan. We got an ass ton of science from it. So let's jump right in and go ahead and spend that. Uh, I was looking at it. I can't quite decide what I want. Hmm. What do you guys think? Kind of debating advanced construction. Kind of debating on uh, space exploration. Hmm. I really don't know. I mean, I'm I'm struggling here, guys. Then again, heavy rocketry wouldn't be bad either. Hmm. If we were to go and get heavy rocketry, do we have the Rocco Max decoupler? Not decoupler. Uh, the we do. The adapter. All right, so I think we're gonna have to go and get the heavy rocketry. All right, we picked up our science. Uh, in between videos, I did do a couple contracts, mostly uh, testing stuff. Pretty easy, but got a decent chunk of change here. Uh, really tedious though. So I think it's time we go ahead and we upgrade our VAB. Uh, we were really pushing the limit on our park count. Uh, we were only allowed 30. Now we are allowed 225. And I think... Oh no, I also wanted to get us the upgraded astronaut complex. There we are. Now out of curiosity, let's go back in here. There it is. I think we could do a lunar and minimus landing with what we have right now. I think it might be kind of a pain, but I'm pretty sure we could do it. Let's go ahead and design that rocket. Well, actually, no. Let's do a, a lunar flyby first. That's what we're going to design. We'll start from scratch. Hopefully, this is what you guys like seeing. Uh, if not, I can always cut this process out of the video. Please let me know. Sorry, turning down the uh, headphone volume here. Command pod. We are going to want to bring this back, so it's going to need a parachute. There it is. We're going to go ahead and throw the hexacore. What's the hexacore hold? I feel like that's not going to work out. No, it's too big. So that's for like a 2.5 meter. So where is our octo core or our quad core? There it is. There we go, quad core. Oops, sorry guys. We are gonna need a little more battery power. Let's go ahead and throw a battery pack up on top here. Actually, we're gonna put some uh, life support on here too. We're gonna need that. Uh, there is a, there it is, generic life support. It comes with everything. We don't need the large one, just this one. There it is. Um, so this is going to give us life support for days and days and days, 312. So we will be golden. Now we can put the quad core back on there. And we are going to need to do uh, Mystery Goo from high and low moon orbit. Same thing with Science Junior, so that's four pieces right there. Um, plus what other sciencey bits do we have? Orbital telescope, magnometer, oh man that's gonna be rough guys, thermometer. Hmm, I think we're just gonna do the mystery goos and the science juniors. My reason being is Probably immediately after this, we're going to go for a landing. So we will get our science, no matter what. Uh, it'll just take a little bit longer. There they are. So we got two Mystery Goose, two Science Juniors. And then underneath this is what we're going to come back to the atmosphere with. So we're going to need our heat shield. There we are. And it probably wouldn't hurt to throw... A couple radial mounted parachutes. Where are they? There they are. 
again, we'd probably be fine with just the one parachute, but, you know, a little paranoid about that kind of stuff. We'll go ahead and throw a mech jet on here. All right. Oh, we don't need dual mech jet. There we go. Otherwise, we are going to need some solar panels. There they are. And we are going to do four of them. Just like that. And that should be dandy. Okay. Do I want to put... Well, I guess we could put a couple thermometers on here. That would not hurt. We'll put them there. And... there okay now let's just get this into orbit I guess uh, we will need a coupler there we are and some fuel tanks hmm I'm gonna take that the terrier what's the terrier gonna do for us here in space it's gonna give us 2800 Delta V. We need about 850, if I remember correctly, to get to the moon. So I think this is going to be okay for us. So this is what we're going to go get to the moon. We might use a little bit of it to finish our orbit, but that'll essentially be it. And then get us back to Kerbin. So. Otherwise, um, hmm, I guess we just got to get off the ground now. That's going to be a big bastard ship, isn't it? I almost want to trim this down. I think that might be overkill. And it's going to be a waste of Delta V. So let's put a 400, a 200. So in space, it's going to give us still 2300. All right, saves us a little bit there. We'll go with that for now. We'll see what our end result is and then trim if we need to. All right, so this is going to be our actual ascent stage. So this is going to be uh, super duper powerful here. There we are. And we're going to do our favorite swivel engine. Oh, God, this thing is freaking huge already um, we're gonna do a new concept today called asparagus staging it is great especially for getting big ships off the ground so we're gonna start with the decoupler we are gonna do the radial decoupler there we are we're gonna do four of them this will be a four-part asparagus stage fuel tanks we're gonna put 800s on there, followed by swivel engines. There we are. Kind of crazy looking, right? But it will definitely get the job done. Go back to fuel tanks. And now we have to kind of figure out our different staging here because it's going to work a little differently. So we're going to pull this one. And this one out of this group here. So that is that. And you down here. So that means these two on the side here are going to be the first to drop off. So what we're going to do with those is as they burn and their engines are going, they are also going to drain their fuel into these tanks here. Ah, that did not work out the way I planned. Uh, what is... Oh, I always forget this um, hotkey. Uh, what is it? 
Oh, that's symmetry. That's good to know, I guess. Am I not going to be able to do this? Ah, that's a pain in the ass. Alright, we'll do it the difficult way. It's a little less efficient, but whatever. So we'll do two at a time instead of four at a time. So we're going to put two there. And then we're going to alt click and that will copy. And we're also going to put two like this. And we're going to try to line them up the best we can. There we go. Good enough for me. And we're going to have to separate these stages. There we are. All right. So now these are going to drop off first, as I was saying earlier. But we're going to have their fuel tanks empty into these fuel tanks. So once they burn through all their fuel, they will top these off and then we'll dump the empty ones to save on um, to save on weight. Same thing is going to go and we're going to pump the two other ones into the main fuel tank here. And that's just going to give us a crazy amount of Delta V. Uh, we are lighting all five engines, correct? No, we are actually only lighting. There we are. So we're going to light all five engines. Staging is a little jacked up here. No, no, we're good. Okay. And <clears throat> this is pretty much going to be enough to get us to the moon pretty easily. Um, shits and giggles, I'm going to add a little more fuel just because. Some people are going to be like, Durka, why, why are you doing that? That's kind of a waste. But whatever. That's what I say to you people. Don't question me. Aerodynamics, put some nose cones on. are and we're also going to do some uh, strut connectors there we are and there we go that way they're not going to wibble and wobble so this is a metric ass ton of delta v and just spaceship in general uh, we are going to need some Fins, we'd probably okay leaving the fins off with all the swivels going on, but why not, right? If I have this much delta V for a lunar flyby, the fins aren't gonna make or break us. So our part count 59. Yeah, I'm glad we definitely upgraded the VAB here. And let's go ahead and uh, let's put Valentina in the pilot seat. She hasn't gone out in a little while. There we are. All right. Double check our staging. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. All right, guys. What do you think? I think she's good to go. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Call it the... Hmm fun name we could give it the the moth why not first thing that popped into my head we'll save the moth and let's bring it to the launch pad we are going to go for a standard orbit there we go oh i'm going to bring up my delta v info oh we have crazy 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 delta v here or thrust to weight i'm sorry i almost want to bring it down a little bit let's go back to the vehicle assembly building just because it's going to be easier to uh, lower the engines from here let's bring all four of the side ones to 67 and see what happens. 1.37. 70? Oh, come on, really? 
probably you're gonna fight with me over half a numeric there. 1.42, 71.5, that should be our sweet spot. Still no, all right. We're gonna up to 74. One point four eight, good enough. There we go. That way our uh, delta V is not super freaking crazy as it would have been. Now we'll save and launch. We should have a ridiculous amount of control over this rocket, which will be nice. But let's go ahead and shoot this up in the sky and see what happens here. Smart ass kill rotation. Valentina, she gave us the thumbs up. We are good to go. Close out of the Kerbal Alarm Clock, we don't need it. Bring the throttle up. Launch. Do, do, do. Let's see, hopefully we get a good orbit here. Kind of tempted to start using mech jet, but I figure I'll do this one manually. Um, I did go in and change the mech jet file just to uh, start it off a little earlier for my sake. Saves me some sanity. Alright, so this first set of staging is about to go. Getting pretty close. And here we go. Drop them. Start tipping over just a wee bit more. We should start hitting some aerodynamic effects pretty soon. Looking at the apoapsis of 15,000 right now. As we get out of the atmosphere, that is just going to keep going. Oh yeah, it's rising really fast now. As we hit 15,000. Uh, I will go towards the 90 degree mark on the nav ball here. There we go. And we'll hold it there. Actually, we didn't get too much in the way of aerodynamic effects. That's kind of nice. And we're about to lose our other set of asparagus tanks. There they go. Drop them. Do, 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 do. Let's tip over a little more here. Work on our periapsis. Shit, I think we can go almost to the horizon at this point. We're pretty damn close to it. There we go. We'll call it right there. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know, for some reason these bigger rockets are a lot easier to get into orbit than the smaller ones. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Just my opinion, of course. And we're going to get it up there and I'll realize I forgot something super important, too. And we have an apoapsis of 71. It's good enough. We are going to lock to prograde at this point. We have 1,200 Delta V left in this stage, which should be plenty. <laughs> Again, we're just going for a flyby here. We will not be landing, but a flyby will give us a pretty decent chunk of science anyway. Probably could have put a couple more thermometers on here, but whatever. We could do our first EVA report. Ooh, I'm going to wait till we get above 70,000. Guys, our first spacewalk. I'm surprised we didn't unlock this sooner, actually. Actually, I w I'm going to wait till we get to an act proper orbit before we do a spacewalk here. All right, time to apoapsis. 
see what happens here. All right, it is dropping. That is what I was looking for. Hopefully we started this soon enough. Do, do, do. And we are technically falling back to the planet at this point. We should be able to compensate for that with our engines on. Looking at a periapsis of uh, 280 now. And it is rising pretty rapidly. Uh-oh. Our APO. We are technically back in the atmosphere now. And... Oh, that's awful. We have this ridiculous apoapsis. I don't know. That was a very poor orbit. I apologize. We may still come out of it. Let's see what happens. We are technically below 70,000. The lowest we're going to get is 63.5 thousand. We may not hit enough atmosphere to bring us back down to the planet. We'll see. Again, this game is still a learning experience. Um, it's very deep, complex, so I will screw things up and hopefully we will work through them. Alright, 63.5 is what we're looking for. We're at 63.6 right now. Hoping we will get out of this. Ah, uh, we are at a. Oh, okay. We are gaining altitude. Let's go ahead and warp until we're back above 70. Whew. That was pretty close, guys. Got a little nervous there. Hey, we did it though. Technically, it's not an orbit, but it's good enough for us. All right, let's do our EVA report. Where is our hatch? There it is. Let's uh, rotate the ship a little bit here. All right, Valentina. There you are. Your EVA, eight science, lovely. Board. That's very short EVA. She got her milestone, first spacewalk in orbit of Kerbin. Let's do another one. Why not, right? Ooh. All right, scary. We're back in. We could do another EVA. Uh, you could do EVAs over different biomes. And we're just going to keep getting them. Might as well just hang out out here, right? I think we got that one actually. Yeah. Board. Dove experiment. Alright, back to the task at hand. Get us, getting us into a proper orbit. It's not really going to take much. Let's go ahead and warp to our apoapsis. It's just going to keep dewarping us, isn't it? Warp to our apoapsis. Alright, what is our APO? 421. Let's just warp from here. Sorry guys, just trying to get all the science I can for us. We are going to need it to land a Kerbin, or a Kerbal on another body. Yeah, it's just going to keep dewarping us for stupid little things like this. Oh, that one. Kerbin's Badlands. I honestly don't think I've ever heard of that one before. Oh, okay. Space high over Kerbin. There we are. How much was that one worth? 
I, I'm not gonna go back and check. Whatever. Uh, so we're looking for 21. We will raise it until 421. All right. We're going to go lock to prograde. Thank you to Mechjib. And we're just going to raise our periapsis of the atmosphere. At this point, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to watch right here. It's at 63. Ah, no. Go away. All right, there we are. Uh, the issue here is we have to ignite our engine. Activate engine. There we are. All right, there we go. Periaps is above 70. We are out of the atmosphere always around. That's fantastic. Video is coming up on 26 minutes. Let's go ahead and do our moon maneuver. The moon. Let's set its target. Again, we're going to want it. Actually, this would be the perfect time to uh, do it, I guess. Ebb maneuver. We're going to go strictly prograde. And there, we'll actually get our Lunar Encounter. And we would also come back. I'm kind of liking this. Let's see where would we come into by the moon. Not very close, but we could change that pretty easily. All right, I'm doing this. Uh, node is in minute and 15 seconds. It's estimated to be a minute and a half burn. So at 45 seconds, we'll start this burn. Let's go to the node. Do, do, do. 15 seconds to kill now. Bum, 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 bum. Well, that could have been a lot smoother, especially for our first uh, Kerbal leaving any sphere of influence of our planet. But whatever. Go ahead and light the engine. Remember, this is our Terrier engine. It is very, very fuel efficient, but not very powerful. Do, 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 do. Once we do get this maneuver down, we'll have to tweak it a little bit just to get us close to the moon. That way we get our um, Mystery Goo and Science Juniors in low moon orbit. Well, it won't be in orbit, but you know what I mean. We can actually watch our apple grow over here fingers on the brake. I might go a little past just to see if we could bring this in a little more. It's one thing I wasn't really concerned about, but... Alright, about 150 meters a second to go of burn. Getting really close now. Let's bring it down to half throttle. Bring it down even more to a quarter throttle. And we should see it pop up there. All right, we're actually going to cut it there because 440 is a lot closer than 730. All right, we have 1400 uh, delta V left in the tank. Our orbit after is going to look pretty wacky but I think we'll be okay in the long run. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit just to get us a little further away from Kerbin. There we go. And let's put a maneuver in right here. Actually, that's uh, not very far out. Doesn't give us much time. There we go, 11 minutes, a maneuver. We're going to focus on the moon here. And our goal is to bring this down to, I want to say it's 20,000. Hundred 
152, 47, up, oh, that's hitting the planet, let's go back, 17. We're going to be good with that. Remember, uh, I believe this last video, I said that um, as you do maneuvers further out, they are a lot more efficient. We're only going to use 43 meters of fuel to do this maneuver. Let's lock to the note. We really don't have to wait for the the uh, actual maneuver either, which is nice. I'm going to bring the thrust limiter way down. And we're going to go back to this view here. And we're just going to do this now. We're going to uh, freehand it. Oh, this is going to take freaking forever. Well, I'm already committed to it, so whatever. We'll watch our moon periapsis diminish. As long as we get it below 20,000, I think we'll be fine. We'll get the signs for low moon flyby. Do, 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 do. Dropping rapidly still. Uh, technically, we overshot uh, according to our maneuver note, but we are still good. Ooh. That was interesting. Our maneuver got a little messed up there. So we're going to lock to uh, normal and finish it off ourselves without a maneuver. Man, things are just not going according to plan today. Whatever, we are still accomplishing it. No setback is going to bring us down. 24, 22, 21, ah, ah, 13,000. That's pretty damn close to the moon. But we're going to be fine. Alright guys. That has been it for episode 7. Um, so I will see you next time for episode 8. And we will fly really goddamn close to the moon. So everybody take care. And see you next episode.